Hi everyone, this is Brian from Mainly Hunting and Fishing and Firearms. I wanted to let you know I found myself a trailer frame. What I'm doing is I have a an old pop-up camper that I'm pulling apart. And what I'm doing is I'm salvaging the pieces that I can salvage. Like as you look there, I have an awning here that I'm hoping I can reuse. I have uh, on top of the of the roof, you'll see there's some brackets and these metal rods right here go through those brackets for roof racks. I tore out the cabinets. The cabinets seem to be junk, but what was nice was the faces of the cabinets were in good shape. So what I'm gonna be able to do is take the faces of those cabinets and put them onto a, a new new plywood and I'll just draw those out and then cut out new new cabinet faces and build new cabinets. The door of course I can't use but that right there is a uh, the white thing you're seeing right there is a, a stove top. So that worked out nice. And then the there is a the gold color thing there is the the electrical unit for the camper. So it worked out really nice. You can see all the drawers and I've got all the cabinet doors and so forth. So I'm going to be saving quite a lot. See the sink. So in utilizing something like this, you get a lot of material that you're going to be able to use in your new, in your new build. So this has worked out really good for me. The frame is going to be a little bit wider than what I need for the, for the teardrop. But what I'm going to be able to do, I think, is with the extra width and frame, I'm probably going to do like a step. So where if you could, you could put like a step on there or you could bracket something to carry on the side, like spare tanks or, or spare gas. So I think those are going to work out okay. I don't think those are going to be an issue. Uh, I'm probably going to take that tire rack off probably and put that on the front. That's for the spare tire. So there are a lot of, a lot of advantages to having this. Um, you can see the, uh, it's going to give me the, ob the ability to be able to cut this section out for the tail lights. And I can cut that section out and there's also for the plate. I'm hoping I can utilize those also. And uh, these, these pieces here, which would normally be the bed pullouts, I'm hoping they, they get a little wet today. We had a little bit of rain, but hopefully those will dry out nice. And uh, I use those and these, these pieces here where they slide into, I'll put them underneath and uh, probably have racks going underneath the bed so where I can pull something out and use for storage underneath the bed and so forth. Or I may just use them for the bed, put them on the brackets on the side inside and just slide, in, slide the bed in and out and utilize that. Um, either way, there's a lot of good, a lot of good use for those. So like again, like I said, there's uh, a lot of, uh, a lot of things you can get out of it. Uh, all the, all the cabinets, all the doors and so forth. We got all the doors off in them, all the hinges, a lot of good material. The, uh, the canvas was, it was all junk. It was all junk in this, so there was no saving any of the canvas. I hoped I could save some of the canvas um, to use for some stuff, but the canvas is all all junk. What it did manage to do is save some of the poles. I'm hoping the poles I can use for the awning that I was able to save. And it's a bit of a mess right now. I haven't picked the stuff up yet. It's just been kind of tearing and throwing. So the next the next thing will be the the junkyard, <laughs> taking everything to the dump. And uh, what I've also been doing is, uh, if you look there, you can see there's a, uh, those L brackets. I've been saving all the L brackets and so forth. And I'm going to use, be able to utilize them on the, on the new build for the, um, for the, for the new cabinets and so forth. So I'm hoping this is going to work out all right. Uh, the wiring and so forth, of course, we'll all use all new wiring. We won't be saving any of that. Uh, there's a lot of other stuff that we're able to save, though, as far as the hosing, the, the snap plug hosing and so forth. Uh, these hoses, a lot of these hoses have, have a coupler end on them. So what we'll be able to do is utilize those because it has, that's the coupler that is on the, on the stove. 
with a three burner stove. And again, this is this is the stove that was in that inside that unit. So that worked out well for us. We're gonna be able to utilize that and that coupler for the stove by being able to save that. That'll save us a few dollars. So we're hoping to get into this for just a maybe a, a maybe fifteen hundred dollars or 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 two thousand dollars for a good build. Um, the, the trailer itself, the camper itself, basically was the, all of the canvas was bad and had to be replaced. So the trailer itself we got for $150, plus having it delivered it was another $25. So we're going to say we have $200 in the, in the trailer before we're done. So if you add that to with what we're going to be costing us for the build, I think we're going to really get into this nicely. And again, remember that we're going to be be showing this along the way we'll be doing videos along the way and uh this is going to either be used for the trip to alaska or it'll be used for the trip to um to northern canada we're not sure which one yet depends on when we finish the build on this but you'll be the first one to know as soon as we do <laughs> and take care hi everyone this is brian from Okay, wanted to give you an update. I got the back off. Hopefully we're gonna be able to reuse that on the new one. We'll cut it into the right right size and so forth. Uh, as you can see, I guess this is my destiny. <laughs> anyway, so we're getting there. We got the top off. We got the sides started off and that. The front's coming off and it. it's um, the, the frame is uh, nearly 14 feet. So I am going to have some extra, extra length. I may end up doing something on the front for, you know, to put like a four wheeler or carry something or someone can carry a, a, a box or something to carry extra stuff. I think I'm going to have the extra room on the front. I'll make sure she's weighted well. I've got so much room on the back. I'll make sure she's weighted to the front as heavy as I can. And then I'll put the extra on the front. And uh, I think we'll work out all right. But here we go. I just wanted to give you a quick little update.